Embedded Engineers, Developers, and Professionals. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, Embedded Insights, the weekly news show all about embedded technologies and solutions from your friends at Embedded Computing Design. It's Friday, October 24th, 2025. I'm Ken Briota, Editor-in-Chief of Embedded Computing Design, and your host, and these are our top stories this week. First up, Josue Navarro of Microchip Technology offered a column about how AI systems and implementations are creating power generation, use, and efficiency problems all over the grid, and how advanced tech can help generate solutions to those problems. That is a worthwhile read. It's a big looming problem over the AI infrastructure, and you need to check out some of these solutions. Our next story is a strategy clarification and a name change from the PC104 Consortium, which has made the move to change its brand name to RMS Consortium. According to the press release, RMS signifies the support of uh, from the consortium of rugged, modular, and stackable computing solutions. The change reportedly better reflects the group's objectives of expanding its foundational technologies within defense, industrial, aerospace, transportation, and energy applications. In our third item today, Jeff Baldwin, Director of Engineering at Sea level Systems, wrote a column full of great engineering guidance on how embedded engineers can design specifically for harsh environments. Of course, that's becoming ever more important with the onset and ever accelerating accelerating pace of climate change. He writes that rugged systems can pass lab tests and still fail in real world extremes, jeopardizing mission critical operations. His column outlines five engineering principles that he says will ensure embedded systems are validated for resilience, built for longevity, and capable of recovering from field stress. So check that out. Finally, we're featuring Roden Schwarz, which is expanding its MXO oscilloscope family with a new cost-effective compact four and eight channel MXO. 3 series, according to a recent release. The company says that this expansion of the line will deliver fast and precise advanced MXO technology and can enable engineers to see more of their device under test signal than any other instrument in its class according to Roden Schwartz. So that's very cool if you're doing oscilloscope testing. That's it for this week. Make sure you look for the In Case You Missed It LinkedIn newsletter for even more stories that you don't want to miss. That comes out every Monday on LinkedIn and you can subscribe to it over there and I hope you do. Meanwhile, if you haven't subscribed yet to us here uh, on YouTube, make sure you do. You don't want to miss any of our episodes of In Case You Missed It nor our other shows like DevKit Weekly and Embedded Toolbox. So subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss any of our shows. Visit at embeddedcomputing.com while you're at it for all the news in the embedded computing space and follow us on LinkedIn and all across the web. Please reach out if you'd like to advertise on this or any other of our shows. We have advertising and sponsorship packages available. And I will see you next week. I hope you all have a lovely weekend. Make sure you get outside. Go for a hike. Maybe a bike ride. At the very least, I hope you have a lovely time. <laughs>